Acropolis of Athens is an ancient citadel overlooking the modern capital city of Greece. It contains the world's most iconic symbol of classical Greece, the Parthenon. The Acropolis as we see it today was built following the Athenian victory over the Persians. It was a time for growth, prosperity, and the establishment of democracy. As visitors enter the site, several buildings come into view. The Erechtheum, a temple used to worship Erechtheus, a mythical king of Athens. There is also the Propylae, which was the original entrance to the Acropolis. And of course, you have the Parthenon. Right now, I'm sitting on the Acropolis Hill, which for the ancient Greeks was not only the center of the city of Athens, but it was the most sacred area. Here they built many temples, including the Parthenon which you see behind me. It was built in the year 447 BC and completed in the year 432 BC. In the front and the back it has 8 columns, and on each side it has 17 columns. This is the most important monument in the country, so if you come to Greece and you don't see the Parthenon, it was like you weren't here. Throughout the centuries, the Acropolis has been destroyed and rebuilt. In 1687, a siege by the Venetians resulted in a catastrophic explosion because the Turks were using the Parthenon as a gunpowder battery. Then, the notorious plundering of Lord Elgin resulted in most of the Parthenon's friezes and statues to be carted off to Britain, where they still remain to this day. What was left can be seen in the new modern Acropolis Museum. The Acropolis is open every day. Admission is 12 euros.